Hello and welcome to Map Review, the show where we take an in-depth look into maps that were or are currently in rotation. I'm LuPG13, and the map we'll be looking at today is Deep End. So without further ado, let's get into it. Deep End was first added to game back on June 16th of 2021, along with the Summer of Dinosaurs update. The only updates this map received since then are environmental changes. Ever since it was added to game, Deep End's meta has stayed exactly the same. Out of the best 16 comps Brawlify listed, 14 of them featured Piper and 3 of them featured the infamous Bonani duo. Other good picks on this map include Brock, Bell, Byron, and B. Deep End is a sharpshooter focused map that discourages pushing up the map and promotes long range shootouts. This map also greatly tests players aiming and dodging skills and heavily punishes aggressive playstyles. Now this map isn't the most intricate map out there, but it accomplishes what it was made for. The water in mid forces players who dare to push up the map into a single lane. Unlike another one lane map, this is done fairly well, mostly because it's not a three tile wide choke point. In said single lane, there is a 5x5 five five patch of grass, and surrounding it is what many people consider the worst part of the map, the spike tiles. I've asked you guys in r slash more brawl stars to see why so many people want this map removed, and the three things that everyone seemed to repeat were Nani bow comps, sharpshooters, and the spikes. Looking at the map, only one of the two problems can really be fixed. Maps favoring a specific brawler isn't a map problem, it's a player preference. That's why we have more than one map for each game mode. Nani bow comps aren't necessarily a map problem either, but there are things you can do to prevent it, like making your map promote aggressive gameplay. Spikes, on the other hand, are a map related problem, but do they really bring down the map that much or is it the concept itself that's flawed? Well, to put it simply, it's the spikes. It's definitely the spikes. The problem with the spikes is their job is to make sure crossing through the middle lane is risky. I mean, just the fact it's one single lane is risky enough, but sure. When the gas comes in though, the spikes just make mid extremely aggravating to play on. Since the spikes push you when you step on them, it's possible to miss attacks because of it. Also, 500 damage isn't anything to ignore either, especially in a high intensity scenario like that. As for the rest of the map, it's fine. There's plenty of cover in the back of the map for healing up, and the corners are just filled with water. Yeah, they could have added more to the corners, but since pushing up the map is discouraged anyway, it's rare for players to get pushed back that far very often. I definitely won't do this for every map, but for Deep End, I thought it would be fitting to remake the map myself. I could have just taken the spikes in away and called it a day, but that wouldn't be much fun. So I made two remakes. Neither of these include spikes, so for the people who wanted them gone, you're welcome. For the first remake, I extended the water in mid to be a 3x6 instead of a 3x5 and made the 5x5 bush in mid a 7x7. I also added a small amount of bush to the back of the map for a tiny bit of hidden cover. I tried to keep the original concept of the map by keeping the single lane risky, but I also added more grass so aggro comps are a viable option on the map. To counteract the addition of the extra bush, I pushed the two small line walls up by two tiles so sharpshooters can check the big bush in mid from behind solid cover. Of course, when the grass gets destroyed, it will make it even harder to push up the map, but while it's there, brawlers like Mortis or Daryl can utilize it. In the second remake, I once again tried to keep the original concept of the map. This time, I didn't mess with the mid bush or the water. I moved the small line wall on the left up a tile and the one on the right Six. Pushing this wall up that far provides solid cover for people wanting to attempt pushing up the map, but leaves the area it was in completely barren. So to make the area still feel open, I added a 4x4 patch of grass so players on that side have at least a little bit of cover to fall back to, but still have to worry about snipers from the other side of the river. Now are these remakes any better than the original? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that. They don't make the map worse, but I'm not entirely sure they are the changes the map needed. This map was made by Supercell themselves, so if anyone knows how to make a map for the game, it's gonna be them, most of the time. All in all, 
Deep End is a pretty decent map that gets severely held back because of one fatal design choice. Adding spikes. That's it for today's episode of Map Review. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, leave a like and comment down below to let me know your thoughts on the video. If you don't want to miss any of my future uploads, make sure to subscribe for more and ring that bell to stay notified. If you want to watch another one of my videos, check out this one on screen.